Hey guys, this is Mag. Hey, nice to meet you, man. I'm Danny. I'm here. We're from the Flat of Fever podcast, a fun podcast based out of Toronto. And uh, we just wanted to uh, say hi and uh, a couple of questions for you. The chill tomato. (laughs) (laughs) First of all, congrats on the Indy 500, man. 50 laps in the first place. Yeah, thank you very much. Is it recording or not? Yeah. Yeah, You're wobbling it, so surely you can't can't video. Yeah, sorry, for, sorry for the viewers if your head's going like this. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll hold it. There we go. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. And then Three you can see these guys. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, we were just talking about Toronto. Uh, what do you think about the track? How does it compare to uh, some of the more international tracks that you've been to for Formula One? Like, does it have any characteristics that you're familiar to? Well, obviously, we know it's a bit bumpy. Yeah. For sure. yeah so I'd say <laughs> the biggest uh, change from a Formula One street circuit. Uh, Formula One street circuits are like glass, they're perfectly smooth, perfectly green circuits. Here, it's a different kettle of fish. Turn one is very unpleasant. I had, felt like I wounded myself, but in free practice, I feel like my feelings want to fall out. Of the bruising your lungs inside? It's very, very bruising. Um, but it's been a great, great city. I love Toronto. So you, you, you mentioned there that you like the city. Like, what are your thoughts about the city in general? Just for people that uh, haven't come out here and uh, your experience so far. The city itself is great. I really, it's my favourite city that I've been to in Canada. There was a time last night. Great food. Um, yeah, we, we can't go out for the, <laughs> in the early night. There's a party tonight. I'm flying back to London, so I missed out. Yeah, I really enjoy my time here. You had a chance to see any of the Grand Prix this morning? Yeah, I watched that in bed this morning. It, uh, it looked pretty dull until the last four, last three, two or three laps. laps. Yeah, absolutely. Now, we notice here that your scooter, uh, it's very nicely decorated. You, know, you have the badge of the British Racing Drivers Club. Clearly, it's something that means a lot to you. With Silverstone yeah. happening right now and looming over the horizon, it's a potential uh, end of the Silverstone Grand Prix as well. The British Grand Prix, as we know it. Uh, any thoughts about that? Uh, yeah, the British Grand Prix is the one, the special one here in the British Driver. You're going to want to see it in London a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, it'd be nice to see it in London. All right, thanks so much. Thank you, guys. Have a good rest of